Hi, my name's Don and I'm a 175 owner and I just got over my 20 hours of the break-in period so it's time to change the engine oil and the gear loop. In order to change the engine oil what I did is I took the boat to the water and I ran it for about 15 minutes and brought it up to operating temperature. Now I brought it back here to the yard. Most of this work has taken place on the outside but some of the work has taken place inside in the engine compartment and I'll show you all of those components today. So to begin you remove the drain plug from the back of the boat. You then pull on that and you'll get the oil drain hose connected. To Clamp on the vice grips, not too tight. Get my quarter inch on there and I'm pulling away from that. There may be some paint around here when you initially try. I'll take that off now. Pull it out. Remove your dipstick and the oil filler cap to allow the oil to flow more freely into your recyclable container. When the recyclable container is almost full, then you're going to want to replace your oil filter. Remove your oil filter by attaching a filter wrench. Turn counterclockwise until you can loosen it with your hand. For this procedure, you're going to want to put papers or rags down in the bilge to catch any loose oil. For your new filter, you want to lubricate the seal by dipping a small amount of oil on your finger and running it around the seal. The other thing you're going to want to do is go down to the area where you removed the old filter and clean it off before you install the new filter. I'm going to go back in again. Starting to get a little resistance here, that's good. They were pre-adjusted when I took this off. I've got my quarter inch. And I just rotate that. Okay, now I'm going to tuck this back into the boat. And now we put the cap on this. And you can see it's not quite full, but we did have some in the filter and in the bottom of the bilge. Okay, so here we are back at the motor compartment. I'm going to be putting in some new uh, motor oil. I've got this uh, Merc Cruiser SAE 25W40, which is the uh, manufacturer's recommended oil. Uh, opening the lid, uh, oftentimes you're going to find the safety seal on the inside. Uh, Always good to have something to puncture that or just use your thumbnail. You may want to use a funnel for this or you may want to have a rag handy because of uh, spills. So I have a rag handy and here we go. Simply let it run in, flows in nice and smooth. And just leave that bottle drain out. It says that it'll hold 3.8 liters, so uh, I'll have four bottles here. It should take up most all of those. Uh, likely it's not going to take them all right away. It might have to take a little time to get down in the oil filter. And they say to check it again after your first uh, time out on the water or first operation if you want to run it on the muffs. Okay, so when you're all done with all four, you want to take a rag, give it a little clean around here. Take your cap. Position it the same way you found it. Get one side in. That's it. Once you let all that oil go in, you want to go over here to the dipstick, pull it out, bring it up. Have a look and see where you are. You can see there, it's saying okay, but it still hasn't got in the lower parts of the engine. We need almost all four bottles in there. So know that's going to be full. You don't want to overfill it. And you don't want to underfill it. So now that we've completed our oil change, let's recap. The first step is to warm the engine. Then you want to drain the engine oil, replace the filter and the plug, add new oil, and last but not least, check all the oil levels.